friends, Nick Norton here with another Pro Tools video. Though this one, uh, the ideas in it apply to every DAW and every mixing board you'll ever see and every equalizer you'll ever use. And it's just a short video on what the different types of filters are with some audio examples. So uh, a filter is a tool in audio that as the name suggests, filters out a part of the sound. Um, there are a few different types. The basic ones we use are called a high pass filter, a low pass filter, and a band pass filter, which can also be described as a notch filter. Uh, what these terms mean, I think you will understand pretty quickly uh, once you see them in action. I'm using this plugin that I'm waving in circles, huzzah! called Fab Filter Pro Q3. It's an equalizer plugin. Uh, equalizers are sets of filters that you can use together to shape sound. Um, and I like this one uh, because not only is it uh, easy to use and sounds great, but the visual display is really nice and clear for learning things. So um, we are gonna start with a little bit of pink noise I have generated. That's what that sounds like. That's not annoying at all. And the reason we use pink noise is because it's really good uh, for giving examples of uh, what things are doing. And it's also good for testing audio systems. So the first type of filter we're gonna look at is a high pass. That is also called a low cut. It's uh, the same thing. And the idea is that it's letting higher frequencies, higher pitches pass through while cutting out the low ones. I'm going to play this pink noise and then increase the frequency of the high pass filter and you'll hear it cut out the lows. I imported some music so you can see what that might sound like in a uh, musical example. Close this guy and open the exact same thing on the next track. This is a song of mine. See how the low end disappears with the cutoff frequency? of that filter is increased it's because it's a high pass filter it's letting the highs through and cutting the lows now the opposite of a high pass is a low pass so let's check out what that does with our pink noise come up here turn it on let's turn this guy off so we get the full low end and I'm again just gonna hit play and adjust the cutoff frequency. And let's hear that on some music. If you're mixing a movie and you want it to sound like uh, there's some people standing outside a club and the music's coming from inside or a different room or something, this is how you simulate a uh, wall between the source and wherever the perspective is. Usually pretty damn low too. Um, yeah. The last type we should look at in this uh, short video is a bell filter or a band pass filter or a notch filter i'm just gonna yeah let's go back to our pink noise i'm gonna put one in the middle right here default shape on an eq is a bell filter and what this does is lets a small amount of frequencies through 
around the center frequency. So what I'm going to do is play the noise and then turn up the gain. Gain is similar to volume. It represents how much of a change in volume there is, or how much of a change in signal there is, I should say. Volume's a little different. Uh, so if I do that, you can see that's what a uh, bell filter looks like. And let's play it and bring it up. And am I on the right track? No. <laughs> Neat. Let's go to the right, uh, the right track here. <laughs> and put her in the middle and blast it. You can also cut. So that's like way too much gain. And it's a little hard to hear what it's doing on white noise. So let me sweep it around a little. That's kind of fun. Um, most filters have a control uh, for Q. That's how steep the filter is. I forgot this thing has tool tips on. Uh, so if you do a higher Q, it gets real narrow. If you do a low Q, it gets real wide. This is kind of useful if you want to take out a sound you don't want. You can, uh, why is my mouse not doing what I expect it to? You can do a real narrow cue and a lot of negative gain like that if there's like a high whine in the background or something and you find right where that whine is. And you're not going to hear a difference on pink noise, but if there were like, I don't know, uh, some, some electrical hum from lights or something, you could notch it out like this. They also call this a notch filter when you're taking out a set of frequencies. Those are the big three, high pass, low pass, and band pass. Remember pass means uh, that it's letting frequencies through. Real quick, I'll show you uh, in the built-in Pro Tools EQ, which is uh, the EQ37, it means it has seven bands. Let's unbypass that, let's reset that. Uh, option click uh, resets any parameter to the default. That's a useful tool. Um, this doesn't have an analyzer, which I actually like because it means you have to rely on your ears to learn. So if I turn this on and click the in button, that means put the filter into the signal chain and we can do this. That's a high pass or a low cut. Here's a low pass or a high cut. If we want to make it steeper, we can turn this knob up. It shows the number of dB it cuts per octave. So you're losing 24 decibels for every octave you go up when this is high and only six when this is low in this particular case. Take it out. I think by now you get the idea. The next video is on how to use that equalizer uh, to actually start shaping the sound of some of your instruments. Thank you for watching.